And we're back. Welcome back to the ladies' room. Kimberly, how's that chicken? Why you gonna call me out on the radio <laughs> like that? Let me wipe my mouth. I'm eating some ranch hot wings, not hot wings, ranch wings from GD's place. GG's, yes. GD's Shout place. out to Cynthia. 607 Sigmund Road in Conyers, Georgia. If you want some good down home cooking, take your tail to Gigi's place. Now, it's a hike. Uh, yeah, if you're it's downtown. Out there, but yeah. it's worth it. Yeah, go ahead. And you can get I'll, it to go. You can, you can get, get you a little, go. get you a good size plate. But once you drive all the way out there, you might want to sit down. Yeah, that's true. For a second. Rest your leg. Rest your leg. Rest your, leg. Rest your gas pedal leg. Rest your mind. Get a little something to eat. <laughs> that's and then right. head on back home. But, um, yeah, okay, I'm going to put these Just take an away. extra plate to go, yes. like maybe some wings or something. Yes, I'm going to put them yeah. away and get to business. All right, yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. How about we do a little bit of politics? Yeah, let's do you a little know, politics. It, you know, uh, so it sounds like Romney, uh, <laughs> as we like to call him, Mittens. Yes, yeah, so old Mittens. Yeah, old Mittens. So Mittens, you know, he's blasting uh, Obama's ad saying they're a little dishonest. Okay. You know, they ain't that the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> oh really? Why he you probably that? called the kettle Negro. <laughs> but anyway, ain't that the all pot his, all his all his kettles he's called Negro? <laughs> well, you know that's not the word I wanted to use. Oh well anyway. Yeah. Yeah. He mm-hmm. called um our illustrious president dishonest. Yeah, Why? actually he said he is asserting that President Barack Obama's campaign is deceptive and demanding an apology and rejecting calls to release more than two years of tax returns. Uh, wait. Um, yes. Has Romney released his tax returns? Yeah, but... Uh, yeah. So he, but, well, he released one. Okay. And so he wants a, an apology from the Obama camp. Yeah. Yeah, because he's saying, you know, they he feels like um, President Obama and their ads, really, I guess his campaign, uh, is trying to bring to not bringing facts about what Mittens wants. You know what his campaign is about. Does Mittens and they keep talking know about what bank capital and all that? Okay, does Mittens know what he wants? Yeah, what does Mitten want? Do we know? Do, do, we know what a girl do, wants, but do we know what do, Mitten wants? Do, do. No. Producer, we might need some crickets. <laughs> anytime we wonder what anytime we wonder what What's, mittens what, wants we need what some crickets want? we may need crickets until we find out maybe we'll find out between now and november what he wants that day at least yeah at least that day yeah. and then he'll shake the etch sketch and, and keep it moving huh it says romney conducted a series of previously unscheduled interviews on friday afternoon to call on obama to disavow tactics that romney called below the standard for the presidential campaign. So he said, there's no question but that his campaign is putting out information which is false and deceptive and dishonest, and they know it, and they ought to stop. That's what Romney said. Okay. That's what he told CNN, at least. I think Romney is false and deceptive and dishonest. Yeah, because he said that, uh, that the Obama campaign and ads uh, misled either federal reg no said that romney excuse me misled either federal regulators or the american people in saying he stopped playing any management role at bain capital after leaving in 1999 to run the salt lake city olympics mittens ran the salt lake city olympics oh my gosh well you know yeah yeah that's his that is his state well yeah. it's his state but he was governor of massachusetts but you know it's the mormons yeah it is the mormons which why do they have all these billboards with the black people, the Asian people, the white people saying we're all Mormon. What's that about? Well, because you know there there is the rumor or the thought that Mormons are racist. And well, so, they did believe black people were the devil till what was it late sixties? Well, you know, I, I have. I did don't, they I don't, say that? I don't. I don't. You know, know the, some Mormons. What did they say? I, well, you know, do they my think Mormons, you're the devil? I, I, no, they don't. The Mormons I know are loving people. Some of my favorite people in the world. So, I don't know what they thought back then. Mm-hmm. But I think so. When, maybe some of them used to think you were the devil. Yeah, but, but they now you're cool. Now. Yeah, I'm cool now. <laughs> All right. But um, I think it's because even you know during the presidential campaign, you had yeah. Romney and you had John Huntsman two Mormons that were running. And so in order to appeal to the general public, they had to get the image out that, you know, we're no longer just a white male organization that marries a bunch of wives, 
they still have a lot of babies. Yes. But, you know, so they they're, so they're they're, they were trying to, as a religion, improve their image mm-hmm. because they had two men running for president. So they had to start, you know, because people relate Romney to Mormon. Yes. And so in order for, you know, and you know how people are nowadays. They, yeah. they get so caught up in their religion that they can't see what's truly important. Mm-hmm. So they had to kind of say okay we like blacks we mm-hmm. like Asians mm-hmm. you know and not like only that they like them but that they're Mormon yeah 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 do you know any black Mormons no no all the Mormons I know are white right hmm. so I guess they found that one black Mormon and put him on the billboard yeah and the one Asian and one. the one Asian Mormon yeah, and put him I on guess. the billboard oh but wait I but think what? I may know an Asian Mormon do you I don't talk about religion at work but he got, he got five kids He's on his way. Yeah. He's, hmm. he's, he's committed. Okay. So, yeah. So, know. you know, we, we uh, I don't know. I don't know. But do you think that uh, overall Christians would vote for Mormon? Yeah, because, yeah, overall, I think now, okay, let's, let's segregate this. Mm-hmm. Definitely white Christians. If they had to choose between an atheist white man and a black man... You got some old school Southern Baptist white Christians that would rather vote for the devil worshiping white man, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Is an atheist a devil worshiper? No, I'm just saying. I just, but just, I, I you just took it. it up. Oh, yeah, just, okay. Just All right. to take it to that level. All right, level. gotcha, gotcha. But, you know, the Mormon faith um, still believes in Jesus. So that's kind of. Oh, I'm they a, believe in Jesus? Yes. It's kind of like asking. What did Jesus do? Okay, now I, I haven't studied the more. I can tell you a lot about the Christian faith, but I do know that they believe in Jesus. Oh, okay. I, I, so that's okay. almost like asking would a Christian vote for a Catholic? Uh, is it? Or maybe more would a Jewish vote for a Christian? No, 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 no. no, no. Because, because it's they both all believe based in, in Jesus. Christian, Christianity. Oh, I, you know, okay. So yes. Mormonism is based in Christianity. Yeah, that's where it, it, it starts with the, the foundation. told me it was about a magic carpet. Wait, we might have to okay. look that up. I, I need you to yeah, look it <laughs> I up. I think that's but, what Bill Maher says but, yeah. on his show, yeah, okay. that it's magic underpants. Okay, yeah. I uh, mean, that's a, but anyway, so yes, I, I definitely believe a Christian would vote for a Mormon. Well, it seems to be that in terms of, you know, the president mm-hmm. and, and Romney and the ads, that... Uh, it turned out, I guess the Boston Globe reported this past Thursday that documents were filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, stated that Romney owned 100% of the company, Bain Capital, until as late as 2002, even though he said that he had pretty much left playing a management role after leaving for the 1999 Olympics. So that would be like three years before. So let's think of it. Okay, okay. And I am by no means a Romney supporter, but I'm just looking at the words. Okay. I mean, I think it's possible that he could own 100% of a company, but not manage it. 100%? I mean, it's possible. What do you What do you have 100% of that you don't control? But you know, I'm a controlling type <laughs> of person, so. You know, the person who runs a company is a controlling type of person. Well, I, he didn't say he ran it. It said he owned it said he owned it right but uh, a controlling type of person yeah i mean i'm okay let me just say that i do believe that you know men's he's is lying you know i men's do believe lying. he's lying but <laughs> i'm just saying the words that are coming out of your mouth, mouth uh-huh. can be you know misinterpreted so um but I, I do i do believe he's lying and then romney's acting like you would have thought he said his mama was ugly because <laughs> He says, is this the level that the Obama campaign is willing to stoop to? Is is this up to the standards expected of the presidency of the United States? I don't think the American people think so. I don't think so. Is it is saying that he whether he was a hundred percent owner, whether he managed it, is that stooping to such a level that is just not that part of a is political campaign? The Republican strategy to deflect to get the people off the real issue and make it seem like oh my god how dare this negro lie on me it's really like okay even if he the words can be interpreted one way or another yeah 
but like you said it's not like he said his mama was ugly right and so they take every little thing and blow it up so that the tea partiers and the obama haters can be like how dare he right yes that indignant negro said this so i mean really it's just another tactic of the republican party and it's all a bunch of bs i cannot wait for the debates Yes. Because you know what? Obama, Obama is a smart man. Yes. I mean, okay, let me let's let's talk about this. I know it's passed, but so they send the health care bill to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As if President Barack Obama did not know the Constitution backwards and forwards. Then he used to teach constitutional law. And so these <laughs> crazy mofos <laughs> send it to the Supreme Court to yeah. try and say it's unconstitutional. Wasn't he president of the law review at Harvard? As if before they drafted this doggone thing and sent it out, Mr. Constitution didn't know that it was constitutional. Constitutional. It just shows how much they waste time and waste money. How this week the GOP controlled house voted yet again for the 33rd time. Yeah. To ban what they call Obamacare. Even though yes. the Supreme Court did it, it's just like, okay, let's just show that we still feel this way. Right. Let's waste the taxpayers' right. money and take this vote that is meaningless. You know, and it's interesting because I, I sent a note back during the whole health care debate. I sent a, a note to our lovely senators of Georgia and uh, said, you know, you're my, you're my voting representatives in the Senate. And I said, you know, you need to vote for Affordable Health Care Act. Mm-hmm. And I got a response. From which one? Uh, it was from, was it, was it Isaacson? Or the other one? What's uh, the other one's name? Chambliss? Chambliss. No, it was Chambliss. Okay. He, from Chambliss' he, he, he office. Usually, he's he our, responded. I think he's more our area. Okay. Our yeah. side of the state. Uh-huh. Anyway, so uh, he sent a response back saying, telling why he was against it and what he felt should be done. Uh, instead, mm-hmm. in the things that he had put down that he wanted done, they were all in terms of reform for people who already had health care through their employer. So it was like we want to, re- you know, we want to do- go for tort reform, or you know, which is more of the legal side for yeah. the doctor. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you know, we want to look at um, you know how much uh, the employee, the the company pays in terms of. Your portion the of the looking out for the rich, the, the portion of the healthcare, and so it was about four or five different points, and so I wrote back and I said, not one point was a solution to give somebody who doesn't currently have healthcare through their employer healthcare, healthcare. and that's the whole point. And that it. is the whole point of the Affordable Health Care Act is to give people who don't have health care health care. That they aren't going to the emergency room, which costs an exorbitant amount of money. Which we end up paying. In which the end. we pay. Because we have an oath here in the United States that if you show up at the hospital, you will be treated. Right. But it's, it's the rich looking out for the rich. That's what it is. But what constantly amazes me is that there's so many people in the Republican Party that aren't rich. But buy into it. Well, because they, they feel that they they want to be rich, and they feel like, maybe if I support these people, I will be. I don't know. So because there's a they whole bunch of... Rich. But there's... And, and, and honestly, they have uh, government health care, but we're not going to go into all this. But, they I do. mean, honestly, the there, yes. there are a bunch of poor people yes. that support the Republican Party that do not have health care. That's right. That support this. But they'll be the first ones in the emergency room because they have the sniffles. Exactly. And so the whole argument is as some of the rich say, we don't want to have to pay for everybody else. But um sorry sir, but you are paying for it because when Peggy Sue mm-hmm. goes to the hospital yes. because she has an earache Yes. Because she doesn't have a primary care physician because she doesn't have insurance. And she sits all day in the emergency room, Mm -hmm. which if she does have a job, she's missing out on her job. Right. And she sits all day in the emergency room. She gets seen in the emergency room. Overall, health care goes up. And who pays for it? We pay for it. That's right. So, I mean, we're paying for it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I, I just don't I just don't understand this mentality I think it's really to and and especially from Romney because um did he not put 
in place affordable health care? He sure did in the so state of it's, Massachusetts. It's really another one of the anti-Obama schemes. Right, that are never good for America. What What's best for America? I think what's best for America is if all of Americans can have the, what's the words? Pursuit of happiness and liberty. Ah, okay. You know that. Yes. You know that. Yeah. Life, yeah. love, pursuit of happiness. I don't think love, love, I don't was, know. In love was in it. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe that was, wait. Maybe that was Don Cornelius. I'm sorry. <laughs> Peace, love, and soul. <laughs> yes, yes, that too. Rest if we can have Don. soul train for all of America. Yes, yes, soul train for all of America. I love it. I love it. All right, Radio Land, I think we figured it out. If we can get everybody to buy in the soul train for all of America, not only will we be going down the soul train line, yes. but then people could have affordable health care. Yes, rest in peace, Don Cornelius. All right, we'll be back.